This is so satisfying. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be trying on all my Sigma goodies. Yeah, Sigma recently sent me a PR package and in today's video, I'm just going to basically be trying everything on, giving you guys my review. Mm, what am I trying to say? I don't know what I'm trying to say. Let's just get started, okay? Let's get started. As you can see, I already did my eyebrows and concealed my eyes off camera and then I was like, there's kind of a shimmery shade on my eyes because I started doing my makeup and then I realised, stop, because there's a brush in there. No, I was going to do my eye makeup. Okay, let me just... Okay, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. I forgot I had this, this eyeshadow base primer. <sighs> and I have a liquid eyeliner. And I have a mascara and I have a brush. You know what? I'm literally just going to do my whole eye with this. With literally that. Because I already have kind of like a shimmery part on my eyes. I'm just going to go over that. I mean, it's not going to really make a difference, but... Because I'm going to go over it with like the shimmer thing anyway. The first thing I'm going to be trying on, or going to be trying, is I'm going to use the brush. So this is the Sigma Blending E36 brush. It looks like this. What does it say on the back? So function, it creates precise application to the crease. Its unique features are that it has long and slightly firm bristles. A recommended use, blend powder products onto small areas of the eyes. So it's like really small and it has like really, like the bristles in it. The bristles are very, I, I don't know, I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I'm going to try this out on my eyes. I'm going to use like a bigger brush just to put shade all over my crease. And then I'm going to use this to, with a darker shade to deepen it up. I'm going to use my Morphe Dare to Create palette. And I'm going to take, I'm going to mix this shade with this shade, tiny bit. So I'm just gonna literally run this all over my eye. For the most part, I am gonna be skipping a lot of the steps that I do, just cause um, I wanna focus. So I wanna focus more on the products. I honestly haven't done like crazy makeup or. Cut my crease. I'm not saying I forgot it. I've just done a lot of clients. I've done a lot of like other people's makeup, but mine I haven't done in a long time. I've, obviously, I've worn makeup, but not this much, you know. I just wear my normal, like everyday quick makeup, uni makeup, you know. If you guys like to see a video on what I do and how long it actually takes me, so like real time, boom, 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 let me know and I will film that for you. Okay, now I'm going to take the Sigma brush and I'm going to go in, I'm not going to go with a shade that's too dark because I don't want my makeup to look too, too much. Actually, yeah, I'm literally just going to take a mixture of these two shades. Yeah. Oh, wow. You guys saw that, didn't you? This is going to make my crease game so much better oh wow that was so easy oh my goodness the next I'm gonna be trying the eyeshadow base primer it says to wear it on the pigments for more intense long wearing color and this is in the shade bubbly this is what it should look like. It's like a perfect, oh my days. It's like this perfect, like, champagne-y, silvery gold shade. Do you see that? I love that. I honestly love this. Basically, you're meant to use this to use. Uh, you're meant to use. Um, this video is gonna be rough. You're meant to use. Uh, 
trying to say. You're meant to use a shimmer on top of this. So like a normal shimmery eyeshadow, but I kind of like the way it looks by itself. So I'm just going to leave it. So they also sent me their liquid pen eyeliner. I don't usually use pen eye. Oh, this is in the shade Wicked. So it's black. But I was saying I don't usually use pen eyeliners. I just like using liquid. Like normal. But my favourite is the Rimmel Glam Eyes. Let's see how this is. What did I just do? Okay, there we go. So this is what it looks like. It's really... Th oh yeah, I remember. This was really thin. Like, the tip is very thin and it's so black. I do remember how black it is. So... Okay. Okay, okay, let's try this. That was actually much easier than I thought it would be. Much easier. So the next thing we have is the Sinosity Lash. So this is a mascara. It's a lengthening mascara. It's a lengthening and curling mascara. Um, let me just try that. Okay. I'm just going to let that dry. And then I'm going to put on another coat. Finish off this eye. And then I will be right back. I decided to not even put on lashes. Like, this mascara is insane. My lashes are really small. I have tiny lashes. It definitely does lengthen my lashes. I would say this is good for volumizing as well. I've... I, I really like that mascara. What's next? Next is face. For face, I have a lot of face tools. So I have three face brushes. Not brushes. I have two face brushes. So one's a foundation brush and one's like a powder brush. And I also have the... What's this called? The 3D HD blender, yeah. And I have this, which is a blush. So I'm going to quickly wet my sponge, put on some foundation all over my face, and then I'll be back. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to blend um, my fan. I'm going to blend my fan. I'm going to blend my foundation out. Uh, what I'm going to do is, on this side, I'm going to blend my foundation out with a sponge. This sponge. And on this side, I'm going to blend it out with this brush. So, I'm kind of going to see what side I like better. I have been liking using a brush better for my makeup as of recently. So, we'll see. I'll be right back. Actually, before I go, I just wanted to show you guys. So, this is how small the sponge is before I wet it. So, I've wet it. And this is what it looks like. It has gone much bigger. And it's very soft. It's so soft. So this is the F80 Flat Kabuki brush. So, it's just a round, flat brush so sponge on this side okay and I'm gonna blend out the side with this brush Okay, so now I'm also going to do my concealer, blend both sides out, I think I'm going to do both with a sponge, and then I'll let you guys know my final thoughts. So in terms of what I think about like which side I like better, I don't know because they both look the exact same to me. I guess it also depends on like personal preference because I really do like, I don't know, I just like the way both sides look. What do you guys think? Do you guys see a difference? 
I don't see a difference. They both look really good. But obviously, I think the brush would be better for if I'm like in a hurry and I'm just trying to get out the door. So, because I blended that out so fast. And the sponge is better for my like drier days because this side is looking a bit more dewy to me than this side is because of the water, obviously, that's in the sponge. But I don't know. I, I don't know which side I prefer. I like them both. If you guys prefer a side, Let me know. Okay, so the next thing I need to try this one. This is the this is the F thirty seven Spotlight Duster. Let me show you what it looks like. Wow. So this is oh my god. I don't even want to put it on my face because sweat. This this is so soft. I would honestly use this for everything. Everything. I can use this to contour, I can use this for my blush, I can use this to dust off my, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. First I'm just going to set the concealer down with some powder. For my powder under my eyes I always just like using a sponge and then, actually I'm going to use a different sponge. I always just use a sponge and then just set it that way because I feel like my concealer won't crease that way. but. I just I will just never use a brush under my eyes for me specifically because I will crease very quickly. So I'm gonna use this brush to just wipe like the excess powder off. What? This brush is so soft. This is a great experience. So I'm going to use this to just bronze myself up a bit. That honestly applied it so well. I really like that. So for blush, I'm going in with the with the Sigma Aura powder, um, and it's in the shade Corderosa. And this is what it looks like. Oh, this has a mirror. Oh my God, I forgot it has a mirror. Look at that. I'm gonna use this mirror now. For my bronze, I was using this side. So for my blush, I'm gonna use this side. This is like a. This is like a pinky movie, not not really pink. It's like a corally movie shade. It looks so much nicer, like in person than it does on camera. On camera, it looks a bit light, but this is like my perfect perfect blush shade. I've been loving these kind of shades recently. Do you guys see that? Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference between this side and this side? This is perfect for people with my skin tone. Even darker. Even lighter. Whoa, I need to calm down. Wow, wow, wow. No, I love this. I actually love this. I think this is kind of like my favorite thing. No, I don't have favorites. I love everything that I got. I'm honestly so blessed. I'm going to spray my face and put some highlight on and then I'll be back for the final product. Yep, yeah, this is perfect for under here as well. The final product is actually... Um, very exciting so it's a lipstick so this is the cream cream de couture liquid lipsticks and look at the shade oh my god <laughs> oh, wait. 
this lip just took this look to a hundred. Oh my days, I love this. This complements my skin tone so much. Like it doesn't look, well in my opinion, <laughs> don't know about Jill, but this looks so nice. And in terms of formula, like it's not sticky at all. It feels very lightweight. Like it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing lipstick. It's very matte. But it doesn't feel dry. It's very matte, but it doesn't feel dry. Wow. So this is the final look, you guys. Wow. I am so happy. I am so happy with everything. It's, it's crazy. Um, There are two more things that they also sent me. And that is the brush cleaner and the brush matte. But I'm going to be... I'm going to be filming this separately. And then I'll just, like, insert the clip. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to film this separately and then I'll insert the clip. And I'll also let you guys know, like what I think of it if not in the video then in the description but I will show you guys like a clip of me cleaning the brushes and everything um, but other than that that is it for this video I am so happy with everything honestly everything I am oh, this is just so soft I am beyond grateful I am so so grateful I feel so blessed I know I'm blessed to receive this package like God's got me, you know. You guys will definitely be seeing these products a lot more in my videos. The sponge, everything. The sponge, this was so soft. And this is blending out my makeup beautifully. Same with the brush. The mascara, I love. I'm not wearing lashes. I love it. The blush is my all-time favourite. This whole look kind of just came together, didn't it? I like it. I love it. I am very happy. And I'm not just saying that because I got it as a PR, but the products are genuinely so good. You guys saw my reactions you saw me trying it out i think i have a, yeah i do have a code with sigma um i'm gonna put that in the description because i can't read i know it's just moona i think it's just moona 10 I'll, I'll put it in the description other than that that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching um let me know if you guys try any of the products <gasps> or if you've tried them and what you think of them I would love to know. I will see you. I know I've been missing, you know, I know the makeup tutorials have been a bit, but I'm getting back into it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how I use the brush cleaner and the cleaning mat. So this is what it looks like. This matte is exclusive to Sigma only. So they have seven exclusive matte textures. So you can only find these textures with Sigma. It comes with an instruction panel like this. It shows you how to use each texture. What I loved about this is it wasn't too rough on my brushes and it helped clean each one perfectly. And as you can see, there's smaller bumps for the smaller brushes, bigger bumps for the bigger brushes. Not bumps, I should say textures. Yeah. Um, and it's, it's incredibly, a little bit incredibly time saving. In terms of the actual foam cleaner, as you can see, a little bit does go a very long way. So I would use like two pumps and I was able to wash like two brushes with that. As you can see, I even used it to wash my sponges, which was amazing, and it really did give me great results. This is what my brushes look like now. I really love this, and yeah, thank you for watching.